Hello, boys and girls. Guess what I'm driving? Don't look at the title. I am driving a 91 BMW 325i. 91. Five speed. It's beautiful. Hopefully, you can see a little better now. You know, I usually don't like white interiors, but this one I do. This one, this one actually has been uh, redone. I mean, inside it's it's perfect. It really is. Let's pull over. Check it out. It's got 126,000 miles. I'm assuming original miles. Everything works on this thing aftermarket radio which is nice this interior it's been sitting outside for a few hours but this is in an immaculate condition i mean look at these door panels this is amazing let's shut this off So ignore the wipers, painted plastic uh, covers or vents uh, coming in and uh, brand new wipers. The owner wants to change the rims to original ones. Yeah, missing a uh, cap over here, but never mind, new wheels coming. These are 16s, the original ones were 15s in white, but it's kind of like a mesh style going on, a lot of spokes. So this is the M Technic. It says so right here. Let's pop the hood. Inline 6, 2.5. Now I did some work to it. Let me tell you what I've done. It had a coolant leak from the throttle body right here. So I simply, um, this is to warm up the throttle body so coolant travels through it. And there was a leak, this throttle body, you can see this, it's corroded and uh, this nipple, it's, well, it's time to go. A new throttle body is $700, so I simply did a bypass right there. It had a bypass for the heater, heater did not, did not work. It had a leak inside. This carpet was wet, that's why you see the corrosion on the pedal right there the heater core is right there you got to take this uh, lower dash apart center console and then a little a bunch of stuff behind the carpet or behind this plastic here and then the heater core comes off and it actually wasn't uh, the heater core was not leaking it was the lines going to it but since i i had the new heater core i replaced that ordered some new seals and we got heat power steering fluid was leaking that's fixed Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, it was much lower. It was so low that this tire, maybe there was a half an inch gap. Now it's probably two inches in the front and in the rear, the fender was right about here. It was way too low. So that was asking for trouble and the oil pan was hit on something. I replaced the oil plug that was hit actually, damaged. 
exhaust was damaged. I won't be able to show you this. Uh, exhaust clamp, muffler clamp was damaged. All from it being too low. It's got copper spark plugs. You want to change those every 20,000 miles or so. The springs in the rear are easy. They're separate from uh, the shocks. All I, I raised it up, obviously, removed the sway bar links and this control arm, lower control arm drops down and then you can kind of uh, squeeze by hand a little bit uh, the spring and take it out and put it. Well, the ones that I was taking out were easy because they were super short. And the ones I was putting in, they were kind of difficult, but easy enough to uh, put them back in. Probably more difficult on original ones to put them back in. The front is much harder. You gotta remove the whole shock tower with the knuckle. There are ball joints involved, uh, tie rod, uh, all that stuff comes out and then you gotta compress the spring, you know, remove the top nut, this nut here, and then uh, the inside, the spring comes off and the, the shock is actually inside. Oh yeah, almost forgot. It had only it had this mud <laughs> where it only had one wiper this was grinded off uh, luckily the guy had the original wiper motor and this was a beep I mean seriously removing the the motor for the wiper this whole assembly that's just I mean hours of work now that it's difficult it's just hard to take this out and then put it back in so you gotta remove these this part of the firewall and then there's this uh, the motor the blower motor right here and it's it's kind of big and you gotta re remove that cover up top remove the blower motor that's that's the kind of the easy part then it's this this is just I mean taking it out was somewhat uh, not too bad because this was grinded down but fitting this this part in between uh, here it's just next to impossible you gotta have it just right to make it fit all right guys that's it for the bmw look how you can close the hood hope you liked it you gotta appreciate these old cars especially in this kind of condition and i'm glad i could work on it and I'm sure I'm going to be working on it uh, in the future. All right. Time to go. See you guys soon.